By following the next day, a Godzilla 2023 was walking around. Now, my his own business. He came over to Sir Farnworth's house and knocked on the door. But surprisingly, Or answered it. Usually, it's Sir Farnworth who answers the door all the time. It's rare to see Or answering the door. Oh, or I. Well, wait, where are Super Final Wars? Oh, uh, I went to go hang out with Inuyasha and Kikyo. Since he's bought it to them, he might, as well, he might as well get to know them better. So that way their bond and connection can grow stronger. Oh, I see. And when did he left? Just a couple of hours ago. Ah. Did you need something? I was gonna ask him when we we're gonna get, well, my robot counterpart part back on our side. He's not fully evil, you know that, right? I know that, but it just feels weird that he's back on their side. I mean, I know he's been a bad guy before, but he changed. He changed his ways. Well, I don't blame you, Godzilla 2023. Well, don't worry, we're gonna get him back. I know you and him are now friends. We're now became like best friends. And things just kind of feel weird without your best friend here. But I can assure you, we'll get him back. We just need to take care of David first. And then we can get your robot counterpart back. Alright. Man, you actually handled the situation a lot better. And then Super Final Wars, because normally when he sees me complaining, he just decides and just tell me to go do some random stuff or something. Like, I don't know, go oh, destroy a village full of bad guys or something. Or even a city full of bad guys. Well, I'm not like my husband. He may be aggressive and a hothead sometimes, but you can clearly see that I've gotten his, well, the little kindness. But I'll let you know when he comes back. All right. Just look at that Godzilla 23 left. Good. Meanwhile, in Super Final Wars, he was getting to know Inyasha, Kikyo, and Kikyo. So, um, Inyasha, how do you feel that you no longer have to deal with Kagame? And I feel really, I feel free. I never felt like, a, I never felt so free my entire life. Ever since Kagome put this stupid necklace on my neck. Just ever since this stupid necklace came on my neck. I just felt not myself anymore. I couldn't do whatever I want anymore. Like when I was on my own, I did everything on my own. It was like way before I met Kikyo. And now that I'm free.
But now that I'm free, I can finally stretch out and just do whatever I want. Whose dumb idea was it to put this... Whose dumb idea was is it to give me this stupid necklace? Kika looked away, blushing a little bit. It was, um, my idea. Wait, what, Kiko? I said it was my idea. Remember, remember that you said you have something to give me and you gave me that little pearl thing from your mom? Wait, were you planning to give that to me? Yeah, I thought about it, but... I just decided not to give it to you. Oh. Sorry, I didn't mean what I said. It's fine, Inyasha. You're you're right. But the password was not supposed to be, well you know, sit boy. Really? What was the original password? Beloved. It's supposed to make you stand still and on freeze for like a good amount of time. Like in like a couple of minutes. So, yeah. Well, I take back what I said. Uh, well, at least I know that you weren't trying to make me suffer from all that crap. Yeah, I never wanted, wanted you to suffer. I should have thought about... Like, when I first saw the necklace on your neck, I thought to myself, oh boy. Kagome, you better... Not just hurt him. I'm kind of glad I chose to come to be with you again. I guess I'm glad too that you're back being with me again. Who was the a-hole who kind of separated you guys? Was a demon by the name of Naraku. He disguised himself as me and attacked Kiko. Then later disguised himself as Kiko to attack me. Therefore making the both of us think that we were trying to kill each other. I see. What does he look like? Well, he used to be a tiny spider. Like a tiny... Little demon spider. But then he met a guy that was trying to save. And well. He kind of now took the form of a human being. And well. Try to. Yeah. Well, what does his actual... Well, what does he look like in his human form? Why? Well, what? Wait, why are you asking? I think I might have encountered him before. Um... Well, he has long, blackish hair. He has, like... Weird body armor. He has purple, bluish, and dark purple clothes. He has red eyes. And he sometimes is surrounded by weird... purple ball thing. Yeah, I, I definitely encountered him before. Wait, when? Just two years ago. 
Well, let me tell you. About two years ago, while I was just walking around, mind my own business until that son of a bee encountered me. He was wondering if I had any interest on in working with him. And I replied no. So he tried to challenge me, but didn't work out so well for him. Oh, that's funny. Normally, when he just keeps on coming back. Oh, he came back about like five times, but I killed him. Then I kind of decided to put it into his little ring and. Well, I kind of built a little time machine, went back in time and squished him when, when he was a little spider. So, yeah. Oh, no wonder we haven't seen him for a while. Because you actually managed to permanently kill him. Mm hmm? I guess we owe you one. <laughs> I never realized that the main character that we were bonded to actually met our greatest enemy and then killed him permanently this time. Yeah, I don't want to deal with him ever again. Yeah, Naraku. He's like a freaking demon. He just like a real demon. He just won't stay down. Just be glad I chose to actually kill him, because he told me that he had two people that he wanted to get back on. And I said, well, and I told him that I had no interest on helping him taking care of these little two people. So I just said, it's your own problem, not mine, so go get lost. But I never imagined it was you guys who he was trying to, to kill. Well, we're glad that you killed him. Eh. My pleasure. <sighs> so, what now? I don't really know. By the way, what's the history between you and that long hair spaghetti noodle? Hey, you picked up my line. <laughs> well, I'll tell you. After Sir Farmer's explained everything, and you actually and Kiko understand everything. I see. So basically, you're in the same situation I was in when Kiko kind of came back. Mm hmm. Well, now I'm in the same situation that you're in, that you were in. I wasn't really in that situation, but, yeah, you can say that. Must be pretty exhausting for you, wasn't it? You have no idea.